Hi friends, in today's session we will be discussing about how to create a table using the SQL statements. In this we will be using a create statement, an insert statement and also the select statement in order to view the output. So for this let's go into the server system here. So in the last class we have created a schema named as SASDI. So in this, we'll be creating a table. So for the creation of table, we need to click on the schema and then click on the SQL console. And then we need to start typing our SQL statement. So create column store, create column table then the schema name schema name is says that I have to type it else what we can do is we stop typing we can directly drag and drop schema and then place a dot and then give the name of the table so we are creating a simple table called student student details okay and then open bracket close bracket and then semicolon okay we are opening and closing because we are specifying that our table should be in between the braces only so it's like starting and and ending and starting of the program okay so here we are giving student id it should be enclosed in the inverted commas then we are giving the data type and marker and we are giving the length something called file and we are putting it as not null not null in the sense this wherever you see the id number will be unique and based on the id number we can retrieve the data so we are giving not null because we don't want the user we, do, we don't want this id number to be a null value if you don't give the value it won't proceed further so it has to be there the value has to be there okay and then i'm making it as primary key primary key in the sense it's the prior and it's like the priority of the uh, table okay let's do this code name and again i'm giving it as mr cat so you can write say 10 and then I'm giving something called std underscore fee. Here yeah, I'm using the data type as decimal. Decimal is so something 10 comma 2. Okay. Now our table is ready. Just execute it. Why showing uh, another? Okay, here we haven't inserted the commas, right? Okay. Now, when you click on the fresh, you can see the table structure. So, here only the table structure definition is created we don't have the data if you just click on it and click on content you won't see any values because we have used only the create statement now for this we'll be using the insert statement so for that what we do is we right click on the table and then go to generate and then click on insert statement the insert statement what is our first value first value is like the id and then 
नेम एंड टेन दी फीस ये राइट फीस ऑफ कॉल्ड डिटेल्स थ्री थाउजेंड ओके एंड देन सेम व्हाट वी डू इस वी सिंपली कॉपी द सेम एंड पेस्ट इट ओके नाउ वी वी चेंज इन द वैल्यूज ओके लेट्स पुट इट एस अच्छी वन अच्छी दो अच्छी थ्री वी इस प्लेसिंग रैंडम रैंडमली ओके ओके नाउ सेलेक्ट ऑल दिस एंड क्लिक ऑन एक्सक्यूट now click on refresh okay when you click on the content now you can see the data now earlier when we clicked on the content we couldn't find any value because we have just created the table we haven't inserted the values now we have inserted the values so this table is ready just when we click on the data preview we can see the data okay that's how we create the we, we create the table and we insert the values okay now for using the select statement how we use the select statement is if you want if we want to see the data for this particular table then we click on SQL console and then we write a select star from just click on click and drag and drop this table so it automatically triggers the schema as well as the table name and then click on execute you can see the output right in this way we used we call we created the create statement we used insert statement and we used select statement okay thank you